Step three, run the what if analysis. As step five will show, top rank provides a lot of flexibility on which inputs are varied in a what if analysis. But it also provides a very quick and easy way to run a what if analysis as illustrated in this step. In this method, top rank automatically varies all inputs that affect the output cell directly or indirectly through Excel formulas. To run a quick top rank what if analysis, you should first check a setting. Click the Analysis Settings button in the Analysis group on the top rank ribbon and select the Find Inputs tab in the resulting dialog box. It should be configured as you see here. Specifically, the top option should be checked. This implies that when you run the what if analysis, top rank will automatically locate all input cells that affect the output and it will vary them automatically. Next, you can select the report settings of interest. Click the report settings button to get the following dialog box. For now, you can accept the defaults. Finally, click the Run What If Analysis button on the top rank ribbon. You see this summary of what is about to happen. Note that 50 recalculations will be made. This is five times the number of input cells, blue or green, which is 10. When top rank does its analysis, it varies each input one at a time over the five steps in its range, keeping the other inputs at their base values and it keeps track of the output values for each of these steps. These output values are the basis for the reports discussed next. Then click Run to perform the analysis. Before continuing, note that the year indexes in the range B23 to B28 have been entered as formulas in the model. Of course, it makes no sense to vary these indexes in a what-if analysis. However, if they were entered simply as 1 to 6, they would be varied automatically as well, because they do enter into the formulas that lead to profit. Again, step 5 in this tutorial illustrates how you can select only the inputs you want to vary, so the tricks such as this one are not necessary. Now it's your turn. Take a look at the Find Inputs and Report Settings dialogs, and make sure they are as shown earlier specifically this one. Then run the what-if analysis.